statement all you want on the stage. Come to the table so we can have a true conversation of how you're going to be registered, how events are going to be rated, how persons are going to travel without being blocked because of some inadequate kind of prejudice, and how we are going to move forward to ensure that for the first time, entertainers are capable to carry in their sound system equipment, their producer's equipment, etc. Therefore, if you don't come to the table, we can only hear one side of the story that will always make the man complain about a nice nuisance be the only person to have a voice in the system. So, Mr. Vegas, congratulations. And I hope that when this album busts, we will be seeing reggae re-emerge to where it should be as one of the top genres within the society, within the mainstream, at the times that are not necessarily after prime time. One love, respect. Thank you, Minister Crawford. Thank you very much. Give me a round of applause, please. Of course, the minister, he has a very, uh, another appointment. Uh, so, uh, you know, you, we have to excuse him at this time. Uh, that is why he, he ha, you know, he's uh, so early up in the program. Remember now, we also uh, want to uh, let you know that there are, uh, you know, lots of goodies around. And uh, you can uh, uh, go to the bar and, uh, you know, uh, check out the, you know, the hors d'oeuvres and all that's around. And enjoy yourself because it's an afternoon of excitement. Glad to see the faces and places that like the, a lot of people who I've not seen, I've not seen for a long time. A great friend, good friends, you know, welcome. And it's only Mr. Vegas could make this possible. So once again, welcome one and all to the great launch of, uh, of this great album, uh, Reggae Euphoria. So you're going to have a wonderful night tonight later on, I promise you. Like I said, it's a story night tonight. So we have lots of people that will be telling a story about this great brother this great product of Jamaica, Mr. Vegas. 